This video might not be Instagram friendly, so I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out on YouTube. I promised you guys a rap video, and for those of you who thought I would be laying down some pretty sick beats, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't even have really good lyrics, but I do have tons of paracord. And I'm going to show you how to wrap up this new pack tool in black. So, some of these can be sharp. This particular one really isn't, but some of the other knife style ones are very sharp. So either wear a glove or keep it in its sheath so that you don't run your hand down this thing. So you're gonna start by holding a length in your hand just like this. I like the knot on the back, not on the front where you're gonna see this nice angling and everything. So I like it on the back. So you're gonna do this one over here, make a bunny ear. You see the bunny ear? Okay, make sure the bunny ear passes where the notches are on the top. Some models have this, some models don't. I'm trying to cover every model in this one video here. So you're going to start at the bottom, there's a notch there, put it in the, into the notch. Go around the other side, make your first loop. Keep twisting this thing around, I hope I didn't go too fast. Keep twisting it around, all the way up to the top. Push it down a little bit, so it sits nice. Now when you get up to this top portion here, you're going to have to kind of play with it a little bit to see what's the best route to go. So as far as making sure that the last loop goes into both notches. So you might have to push it down a little bit just so that they line up right. I think that's the hardest part about this. Okay, I'm happy where those two are sitting. So now you're gonna leave, I don't know, four or five inches on the end. Cut it. Hold it, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Put this through the bunny ear, like that. Now pull that tight, and now you're gonna pull down here. When you pull down on here, this is gonna tighten up. See that? Now here's where you don't wanna slide off the blade here. You're gonna hold the handle and you're gonna pull on this. When you pull on this, you're gonna feel this knot come down. You want it at least a third of the way down. So you're gonna pull on it. You can kind of feel where it's going. If you pull too much, you're gonna just pull the knot right out the bottom and you're gonna to have to start over. At this point, we're gonna cut out, we're gonna leave like three quarters of an inch. And then you get to play with fire. I use this to pick up the paracord a little bit so I don't burn other paracord or make the steel really hot. And just make sure they're not going to fray later. Take your screwdriver and push them in. Again, be careful not to stab yourself, please. That's happened to me a couple times when you slip. All right, so now those are tucked in there. Doesn't that look nice? Now you can use the same steps on the other ones that I have that have a secondary hole. You would just lace it through the hole on the first knot. And whether it's a Ranger, Rogue, those laser cut models, this will still work on that too. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.